All right, rebuild of a Mercury 8 horsepower. Um, I believe these carbs are the same in the 6, 5, 6, 8, 9.9. .9. Uh, there's quite a few different models that uh, this is a similar carburetor. So the steps will all be similar. I've already had this carburetor uh, to totally torn apart, cleaned, put back together, put on the uh, motor and ran. Uh, but what I found was that there was a uh, leak in the diaphragm for the primer. So I ordered a kit, um, the universal kit, Amazon kit. So what I'll do is I'll uh, tear the carburetor down, place all my gaskets out of it, replace that one that uh, that is leaking and uh, and put the whole thing back together. So our first step is gonna be to take off this plastic piece in the front. This is part of the primer assembly. Two eight millimeters. All right, once that piece comes off, you can see that that piece would stop us from being able to get our, our bowl off the bottom. So the next step will be to pop that bowl off the bottom, 13 millimeter. There's our main jet bowl. Like I said, this carb has been cleaned before, so there's no uh, no cleaning required on it. Then we have our float. The float just comes out. We can lift up this, and there our needle is in there. So turn it off. There's our needle. Let's set that aside. two screws for the top top comes off there's a gasket there we don't need to worry too much about these gaskets if you were going to reuse this kit you would want to pop all your gaskets off with a knife carefully so that you don't rip anything we have all new ones in the kit So we have five screws and there's another gasket. So it looks like this is a, a diaphragm and a gasket. So make sure that we're going to put that back in the same way. Okay, I had to run and get a pick. So we're going to use that pick to pull out our our gasket for the float bowl. So there's that gasket. We want to save all these gaskets because we're going to reference them in this kit. We'll move over to our float bowl. 7 16 wrench. We'll take that. So you can see we have a, a spring. We want to be careful of that spring. And on the inside of the primer, I'm not sure if you can see, but we have a small ball bearing. So we're going to set those to the side and then we can pop off the top portion. Four Phillips screws.
So this portion is spring loaded. We have a spring assembly in there. So the first thing we can see is that gasket. So that gasket comes out. We can get rid of our four screws here. We don't need those right now. And then a spring. And then the diaphragm. So there's the diaphragm. And this is the part that is suspect for this carburetor. It's a little bit crusty all around in here and I think we're getting some leaks in there. So we'll take a look at our new kit, see what, uh, what parts are in it, what parts we need, what parts we don't need. I believe these are universal kits, so we've got all kinds of gaskets and stuff in there. So we'll have to reference ours, pull the ones that we need out. Um, I would suspect if you bought an OEM kit that you would get the exact parts you need. This is not as a universal kit. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the gaskets. Okay, now I have all my uh, parts laid out. Carbs totally disassembled. Um, now I'm gonna fish through my kit and figure out what, what gaskets I need. Feels like there's quite a few in here. It even comes with a little spring. So that looks like something else. That's my intake gasket. There's the diaphragm portion of that. Is that the right one? Nope. So you do have to feel your way through one of these kits. Up to you whether you want to buy the, uh, the OEM. That looks like that one. I need a gasket. So that's my gasket match for that. And then it looks like these ones are not needed. That one is. So these round ones are going to be the replacement for that one and the other jet. So I'll get rid of, uh, oh, and that's the uh, the diaphragm for my primer assembly. That's the part I needed. So I'll get rid of all the old gaskets. We'll come back, we'll reassemble with new gaskets, and then we should be uh, ready to install back on the carb or on the uh, outboard. Okay, so now we have all of our, uh, our gaskets laid out. Um, I've taken away all the old gaskets and any of the extras that came in the kit, so we're not confused. Um, we'll replace the top portion of the primer, which comes in our kit as well. And that's where we'll start. We'll start with the primer. So the first step is to drop our little ball bearing back in. Snug that up. And the top next we need is a spring. Gasket. This is where this assembly could become a bit fiddly. You can see where this diaphragm lines up, and then this needle has to go straight down and into the seat. So it takes a little bit to line that up, but you'll know when you have it because it's the only way it can go on. So once it snaps together like that, you're kind of holding the bodies of the carb together so you can, you can test your primer 
that's how you know that you've you've found that that seat for it holding them together you can get a screw into it and then once we have one screw into it then we can put the other three screws in and not have it fall apart on us So with that, you want to make sure that the gasket's on the bottom and the diaphragm is on the top. And that's that assembly. So now we can go ahead and put our gasket So you got that in. I'm just going to use the, the float bowl itself to seat that gasket in there to make sure it's all pressed down and nothing's out of place because if it is, if this portion, see how that portion's sticking up? We want to make sure that's all in there because that's, that's going to leak. So once we tighten that down, it should seat that gasket in there well. Um, just double check it, make sure. Flip this arm up, we can drop our needle back in. The needle just drops back in. And the float bowl, you can see there's a little a lip on that float bowl. That goes facing the, the carburetor. So that sits just like that. We'll take our jet nut. Just thread that in by hand. Snug it up. Just checking to make sure that that, that gasket is seated in there properly. I can start to tighten it down. snug that up and we can move on to to our side okay we're gonna move on to the side same idea we're gonna use the gasket there's a couple of locating pins so the gasket only goes on one way you can't put it on backwards same with the little diaphragm. So with that, we want to lower the two together. You can kind of gently rock it and get those locating pins to go into the main body of the carb. So they are in there now. Just double check. You can see down in your holes to make sure you're all lined up and you can start throwing screws into it.
Okay, hard top. This gasket fits right in. You can see there's a bit of a channel right here and that's where that gasket's gonna go. Sometimes you can see an imprint of where the cover sat. You can see that channel right there. So we're gonna let rest this right on top here. Grab our screw. I'm gonna run that screw down just to hold everything in place for me so I can line the next one up. Now we can go ahead and put our primer assembly plastic bit on the front. You can see that there's a locating on the bowl. So that just fits in on the bowl. These holes should line up. There you have it. That last, that last gasket is your intake gasket, and that's going to go right here, back onto the studs of the motor, and then lock back down. Once it's back on the motor, you'll just want to pressure test it, pump the bulb up until you have pressure, test out your prime, make sure that you're not having any leaks, any fuel. It's a pretty easy job. If you take your time. Like I said, I already had this carb clean, so uh, you'll want to, once you get it disassembled, you'll want to clean the carb out and uh, clean and dry everything before you do this assembly, but there you go.